Thomas the Tank Engine loves his branch line. He loves to puff along the line and thinks he has the most important part of the railway. Past the top station on Thomas's line, there is a quarry. The quarry is where stone is mined. Engines like Percy and Toby will take the trucks down to the top station, where they are used for many things. The trucks at the quarry are very troublesome. They have been known for causing many accidents. They listen to anybody but do the opposite as they say, and that could become a problem. One day, Thomas was called in to take a goods train. He was annoyed because he had to miss his afternoon passenger train. Why can't someone else do it, complained Thomas. Because we're entering a busy time, Thomas, said his driver. We're going to need an extra engine sometimes. But for the time being, we'll need you to take some of the stone trains for the top station. Toby will collect it from there. Thomas was cross. He bumped the trucks hard, causing them to bump into each other. Oh, 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 they cried. I want no nonsense from you, Thomas said angrily. As Thomas went down the line, the trucks were well behaved. Thomas knew this wasn't normal. When he put the trucks into a sighting, he backed down to Annie and Clarabelle. Then he heard a voice. I hope that helped. Thomas looked around, the platform, the yard, but it wasn't a person or an engine. It was a truck. What do you mean, I hope that helped? I told the trucks to be good for you, because I saw how annoyed you were with pulling us. Thomas was surprised, but noticed the truck's age. He was old and frail, and looked like he had been in service since Sodor started. Just then, the guard's whistle blew, and he rolled away, but not before whistling to the truck. Over the next couple of afternoons, Thomas was called into the quarry to take stone trains down to the top station. The truck was one of the trucks on the train and told the trucks to behave, or else something would happen. The trucks would stop giggling and behave on the way down to the quarry. What Thomas didn't know was that the truck was putting a breach of trust on him. One day, Thomas took Annie and Clarabelle to meet the truck. This is the truck I've been telling you about, he said. The truck was surprised to see Thomas's coaches. Uh, hello, nice to meet you. Annie and Clarabelle were suspicious of the truck. Are you sure this truck is reliable, Thomas? asked Annie. He's just telling them to behave. Don't worry about it. But the truck had other ideas. As they were leaving the quarry, he whispered something to the trucks. As they were coming to a hilly spot, the trucks started their games. On, on, on! Faster, faster, faster! They yelled loudly. Thomas was shocked at the sudden jump. They rattled through the countryside and raced faster and faster towards the station. But there was worse to come. There was Percy marshalling some trucks! Thomas whistled loudly. Look out! Luckily, nobody was hurt, but Thomas was cross. Mr. Truck, why didn't you help me? The truck was concerned. Uh, um, I tried to tell the trucks, but they didn't listen, and or so that is, boomed a voice. It was Sir Topman Hat. I have heard many tales about you from Toby, and you have been very troublesome recently. I hear that you've been putting Thomas into trust, and that you'd be playing a trick on him. And now... I see that trick has been done. The truck looked at Thomas, who was looking at him at disbelief. He looked down at his buffers. Maybe, if you are shunted away for a while, you'll know not to do these kind of things. He then walked over to Thomas. And you, Thomas, trusting a truck. That is something I would never believe. I think that maybe more quarry work will help you with your trusting with trucks. Then you can go back to passenger work. For the next couple of weeks, Thomas worked hard all day in the quarry, jumping trucks and taking some all the way to the harbor. After a while, though, he was back in service, pulling passenger trains. What about the truck? Well, Sir Tom had decided to put him out of use. He now knows not to trick anybody into liking him. Not even an engine.